Well, hello, my wonderful Earth signs. Welcome to your weekly readings with yours truly, Crystal Doty. This is for those of you who have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your Sun, Moon, and Rising, or those of you who are cross-watching that combination. This week I'm using the Magical Messages of the Fairies and um, my Modern Mystic Tarot deck to give you clarity, comfort, and information about this week that may serve you. So I invite you to sit back and relax and take a deep breath as I ask that your angels... Archangels, guides, guardians, ancestors, God and goddess be with you for the remainder of our time together today so that you can get your clarity and comfort and information for this week. All right, let's get your overall theme for the week here from the fairies. I chose the fairies because it is spring and it's so lovely outside. So let's see what they have to say for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Business venture. Wow, we like that. Look at that. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. They are in this cavern full of lots of gold, and the card says, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So this is a great and wonderful week for career, and um, just doors of opportunities is what I'm hearing for you, Earth Signs. Um, your hard work pays off is what I'm hearing. Those of you, um, I feel like some of you have been very frustrated, right? You've been uh, picking at the wall, so to speak, like these, these guys have been picking at the wall, picking at the wall, where's the gold mine? <clears throat> this week, you're either going to see that gold mine or you're going to see evidence that you are heading in the right direction. Both of those things extremely valuable. And so it's the work that you've been doing is going to pay off. You can relate this to your career. I'm also feeling that some of you may need to hear this in regards to a relationship. But the work you've been doing on yourself, the work that you've been doing on the relationship is going to pay off. You're doing really great. So let's get an idea of what this means specifically for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What do we need to know for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo this week from the Modern Mystic? All right. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn, you've got the leap of faith. Wow, what a wonderful card here. Dream big, take risks, leap into the unknown. This is about really looking at an opportunity that you just, wow. This is either, like I said, your hard work is paying off and now you've gotten to the point where it's time to take a big jump, a big leap. Um, for some of you, this is, this is having courage in yourself. I'm hearing for a lot of you, have courage in yourself. Um, Yeah, that's what the, the, what I'm really hearing that what's been stopping you is just fear. Like you've been sitting at this ledge and you're like, oh, how do I dive in? What do I do? And I think that for some of you, this is just making a decision that you're going to go for it. And then the opportunity comes. It's like, you know, these guys have been chipping away at the walls and they're like, I don't know if there's gold here or not, but I know that it feels right to be doing this. And then all of a sudden there's the gold, right? So you're really trusting your gut. You're really trusting your um, your intuition and your feelings, and you're just saying this is this is how I feel. This is where I feel I want to go, and so it's a little bit of blind faith, right? You may be jump, jumping into the unknown or heading into an unknown direction, but it feels right. It feels exhilarating. If you look at him, he's like flying in the air. It's exhilarating. It's exciting. It's an adventure. It's fun. Um, it lights you up. It makes you a little nervous, but in a good way, right? Exciting nervous. Let's we'll see what your charm is, Capricorn. So I've got this curved knife. This is the warrior's dagger. Can't really see it that well, um, but that's what it is. And so this is like you're a warrior. You have what it needs. You, you have what you need. Uh, before a warrior goes on his, you know, uh, journey, he, he packs everything up, right? There's his dagger, there's his food supply, his water, his horse is all, you know, uh, ready to go. And um, so this could be the sword of truth. It could be the sword of, of adventure. It's you have what you need. Go for it, for sure. Um, jump into the unknown. And um, this sword of truth or this, you know, dagger of light, if you will, will guide you and keep you safe and protected. This is the this is definitely protection. If you look at like even in, you know, the the angel things that I that I talk about and that I speak about that I wrote about in um, what would angels do? 
Um, so daggers and swords are associated with Archangel Michael, who is here to help you feel safe and protected as you make these necessary changes. Okay, that was Capricorn Taurus. You've got the goodbye card. So you're definitely going through some huge transition. I feel like this, that you recently had a door close and this made you feel like maybe you're at a loss, um, maybe you are grieving, you're having to let go of something. Um, but there is good news here. There is stability and there is safety in the dark. These guys were chipping away in the dark and then they found the gold. Very often it's under the ground, right? When a seed is planted under the ground, that's when growth happens. It's in the dark that we really see who we truly are and that's really where you are. This is really respectfully moving on from the dark and into a light place. So this week, I think that you are going to see some sort of a transformation, especially those of you who are grieving the loss of something or someone. My heart goes out to you. This is a huge transformation for you. Honor your grieving process. Honor the letting go and respectfully move on. Um, depending on what your personal situation is, you can kind of apply those statements for where they fit. But this is a, I almost feel like this is kind of a reverent time for you, Taurus. Um, a time to reflect and to renew. Um, the goodbye card just really means one door closes, another one opens. And I know that it sometimes can be a little bit scary in between the doors, but rest assured there is a new door that will be opening for you. A, a door of opportunity and wealth and abundance, safety and security. Let's see what your um, charm is here. Wow, look at this angel. I just got chills. You have got this angel with you. This is the angel of light, angel of comfort, angel of guidance. You've got a very big, beautiful angel with you who is guiding you through the dark and back into the light. And when you return into the light, what I'm hearing here from the angels is that when you come back into the light, you are going to be a different person. You are going to be a deeper person, a stronger person. You will have uh, received all of the information and all of the strength that you needed in order to take the next step. So this is kind of a warrior week so far with you Capricorn and Taurus with the dagger and jumping in and you know getting through this dark time and and you know moving on um, you know we've got there's there's something wonderful for you at the end of this. Let's see what Virgo has. Wow. Virgo, there's been this energy with you that you've been trapped. I swear you got this last week. I can't remember for sure. But there's this energy that you feel like you've been trapped, this illusion um, of feeling powerless, it, very much in the dark, very much uh, unable to move forward. And um, maybe you feel like you, that there's a, a victimness to the situation that you're in right now. The cool thing about the Eight of Air is that this girl is not in a cage. I always like to pull, you know, she's not in a jail cell. She's standing in front of maybe a fence um, or a balcony or something. If she were to get up and, and take a few steps back, she'd realize she's not actually behind bars. She's not really stuck. It's just that this is her view right now. This is what she sees. And it's because you might be really too close to a situation. Virgo, you do need to step away. You need to step back. You need to focus on something else so that you can get a higher perspective of where you're at. Some of you might be literally sitting on a gold mine, but the way you're looking at it, you're not looking at it correctly, or you're looking at it and you're scrutinizing it, or you feel like you're trapped, when actually if you just keep chipping away at it, you will find your gold. This could be in relationships, it could be in work, whatever it is. Um, you know, it's almost like you've kind of given up and decided that this is the way it looks. This is the way it is. And this is making you feel powerless. And so this is a week that you're being asked to change your perception. Like what Wayne Dyer said, when you change the way you look at something, what you look at changes. So you really do. Look at how hard she's grasping onto those bars. You need to let go and really take a step back and focus on some other things. Maybe focus on your job um, unless your job is what makes you feel like you're in jail, maybe focus on something else and um, things will shift for you. But we really, the universe wants to help you become unstuck and not trapped. And so the universe is actually asking me to ask you to please start looking at your life in a different way. Start looking at the part of your life that isn't stuck, the part of you that is free, that is liberated, that is 
powerful and start to be in that energy so that they can kind of break up some of the stuckness. Let's see what your charm is here. We have the fish. The fish is like breaking free, you know. They want you to, to swim freely. You might feel like a fish in a swimming, in a, in a, not a swimming bowl, a fish bowl, and you belong in the sea. And so um, there's this, just this energy of set yourself free, set yourself free and swim. Um, also, <laughs> the, uh, where's Nemo? Dory, when she says keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. That's what I'm hearing. Just keep chipping away at something, um, knowing that there's something better on the other side. Um, but it seems like you've kind of given up because it looks a certain way and it's because you're too close. Um, step back and look at the whole picture and free yourself is what I just keep hearing. So wow, for my earth signs, um, there, there's a call to take some big steps. Taking a risk of a leap of faith, letting go, and stepping back and viewing the situation differently. When you are able to do these things, there is this energy that comes forward for you. Doors of new opportunity, um, safety and security. These guys are in a cabin. We're dealing with the, the, um, the foundation of your perception or the foundation of your life, which could be money, career, relationships, it could be health. But whatever it is, it's you need to really trust where you are right now. Trust the sleep of faith. Trust the transformation. And trust your sight as you, as you begin to change the way you're looking at something. Um, and follow through with the new truth and the new understanding um, and the new power that comes through for you. Like I said, this could this has the potential of being an extremely abundant and prosperous week for all of you. And so um, position yourself accordingly. You can put this advice and guidance, of course, in your life wherever it seems fitting. Position yourself accordingly so that you can receive the greatest gifts that the universe wants to give you. Remember, if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to crystaldoty.com. You can also support my work if you go to Patreon, and all the links are in the comments. Until I see you again, I hope you have a beautiful week. Sending you so much love, light, and everything right. Angel blessings, my beautiful earth signs.